Simonin. Nah. drunk and she hasn't even opened it yet. Get her arm work out over there opening a bottle of wine. Let's see her pull it out. Let's see her, uh -huh. Hey! Here's to a month of living in Grenada and it's been absolutely fabulous and we can't wait to start our journey this coming up month, but we're ready. We are ready to leave and ready to start sailing! all my pirates out there are. She needs some rum. We finally felt it was time to add some color to the boat. So we headed downtown to the local paint shop. Once we decided on colors, we were eager to get back and paint. We got the paint. Where do we? <laughs> there we go. Perfect paint. Yeah. We got our stuff. Yay, now to paint the boat. We had decided to go with shades of blue. So as we started to paint, we decided we did not like the color. So back to the drawing board we went. Our second choice, I think, came out much better. Babe, what you doing? Why? Because it's rotten and there was termites in it. The next task we took on was the bathroom wall. During the time mischief sat on the hard, the window seals had dry rotted, causing water to leak into the boat, which led to black mold and rotten wood. All right, that's our final result for now. I gotta go trace it, cut it, make a new one. Wow. Hightower removed the wall and purchased an 8 foot by 4 foot sheet of marine plywood. And he traced and cut out the new section of the wall. Well, today we're putting the final coat of paint on the bathroom wall. One project at a time. After, he sealed it with a water resistant primer. And don't worry, we weren't going to waste any of the other paint. Once everything was dry, next step was to install it back in. I thought it came out pretty good. We do plan on creating maybe doors or curtains in the future for the shop. I am off to Miami for the boat show. I'm excited, boat show, and then for a Disney run. Can't wait. This week was finally here. The Miami Boat Show and a run Disney race. I was leaving Hightower behind, though with the knowledge his cousin Max was coming to keep him company. It felt so surreal being back in the States, though once my dad had picked me up, the first place I went was Starbucks. My first Starbucks coffee in over a month. I'm very happy right now. Miami Boat Show and we're very excited. We're gonna go check out the boats, especially maybe some Catarans, so maybe something in the future. We don't know, but we're really excited to be here and we can't wait to see what it's here.
This spectacular event has more than 1,300 boats on land and sea. They also have a strictly sail portion where you can go find the greatest boat builders across the globe. One of the boats I fell in love with was the Sea Wind 1160 Lite. I love the perfect balance between comfort, safety, and shorthanded sailing design. You're cooking. Look at the view when you're when you're cooking or underway. And what I like is that you know when you're moving, you gotta hold yourself in. This is beautiful. And I think I will just stay right here. That's what I love about cats. The trampolines are my favorite. And just a short walk away was the main Cat 38. A very cool aspect of this company is that they only make four a year. You have the opportunity to really design it the way you want it. It currently outperforms all current cruising catamarans on the market. These two cats are both powered by twin outboard engines and cost in the mid 300 range. Not bad at all. It's weighted so it digs in better, right? Exactly. The, uh, the tip's filled with lead, so okay. over half of the anchor's weight is in the tip. What that, there's uh, really basically three things that that does. The first is it creates a ballast, so it gets rid of the need for a roll bar, because no matter how the anchor's deployed, it's always, it's always going to land upright. The second thing that that, that, that weighted tip does is it help is, then the most important feature is it keeps you um, if you hit your bad weather your directional changes wind change currents whatever it is instead of popping loose and dragging on you it just wants to rotate and stay set on that heavy tip and the, the last thing it does is kind of small but if you've ever had a problem with your anchor coming up spun in the wrong direction it keeps it orientated to where it after purchasing a new spade anchor we checked out the sea task rain man water makers what would you recommend generally for, I know you have different sizes, right? Yeah, Portability. Sure. I'd recommend the most popular choice by far, the most popular we send out, is the electric unit and the high output membranes, which is these ones. Over. The bigger ones. So yes. you're basically buying the two different... Exactly. Right. This one is your pumping system. So it's going to bring up the source water, pump it into a 5 micron pre-filter, send it to a high pressure pump, and that is going to send the high pressure water into your membranes. These quick disconnect real easy. You're going to place your brine water over the side of the boat and place your fresh water by the side of your water tank. And when you've plugged it in, you turn it on and the, um, you increase the pressure slowly by turning. And when you get to the green, you'll be producing water. You test the water and if you're happy, you place it in your tank. What's the difference between this and the systems that are traditionally put into a yacht? I mean, do you, is there any real difference outside of this is more, it's more portable and you can move it? Technology-wise, it's, it's relatively the same. Um, it's, not a, it's not a leap in any form of technology. Uh, it's just more compact into a portable format. Yeah. Out the door, roughly, that is what you call uh, About 47, 20, out the door. This is now the second half of it. We're going to go over to the next tent and see what is there. Uh, we've done a bit. We bought a new anchor, which was a big deal. Um, it's a spade anchor. You'll see all about that. Um, so now we're going to finish off the rest of the boat show at the other area. And now it's almost 5, so the boat show ends at 7. We hopped on a boat over to Virginia Keys, where most of the powerboat and accessories were. And we made it. Next on our list of things to look at was safety. I ended up getting a Disc Vest 5D Spin Lock. It's lightweight and compact, an automatic inflation, also has a spray hood and a pylon light, a CRC coated cylinder, instantly inflated, and is a shoulder fit system.
You look like a good Vanna White right there. What a beautiful end to the Miami Boat Show. A gorgeous sunset. We had a lot of fun at the 2017 boat show. We cannot wait to come back. We bought a lot of goodies, a lot of things in store. So you guys will be seeing that upcoming videos. Um, please stick around and we'll see what else comes. So today I'm picking up my cousin from the airport. It's uh, 3.45 and this flight was supposed to land at 3.37. But I still don't see a plane. So we'll see what's going on. Well, Max, yeah. what are we doing this morning? Trolling, man. Trolling, baby. We're going fishing. Another day trolling. Trying to catch some lunch and some dinner. Let's see what we can do. Max is Hightower's cousin, who is a city slicker from Atlanta. Catching fish out here, boys. Needing some salty air and some sun, he decided to come visit. Got some sharp teeth, boy. Whoa. Whoa. Here we go, here's lunch. Well, Max, what do you say about being the angler of these fish? It ain't bad, my man. It ain't bad. Providing lunch. Seriously. The Run Disney Expo is the perfect place to prepare for successful races. You can pick up your official race number and packet and check out the newest Run Disney merchandise. Before the big race, my mother and I checked out Disney Quest before it closes in July, which I definitely suggest you go do. We're walking to the entrance. Ah. What time of the morning is it? <laughs> The crack of freaking dawn. <laughs> Actually, dawn hasn't cracked yet, so earlier than that, it's like three, four, no, four forty-five. As the big race was about to start, we decided to warm up with a couple of dance moves. We made our way to our corral where there's over 12,000 people dressed up and participating in the Disney Princess 5K. Runners! This has to be one of the most fun and magical 5Ks out there. I'm not a big runner, but when I run, I run Disney. Send her on up. There she goes. And next week, I purchase a new toy and have a bit of an accident. Though so Max and Hightower continue to vacation in the Caribbean. Hi guys, 
guys, welcome back to Sealing Mischief. I hope you've enjoyed the videos thus far. We've definitely enjoyed all the comments and likes that we've received. So please keep it coming and send some love. Now we officially have a spot so you can actually continuously be tracking us wherever we go. So don't forget to check us out. Bye.